Praise the Lord, Donga. What a wonderful day to be alive and to serve a God who is alive, whose name is Jesus Christ. Matthew chapter 22 verse 32 states, I am the God of Abraham and the God of Isaac and the God of Jacob. God is not the God of the dead, but he is the God of the living. But you know, Tonga, there are more to life than this physical, natural world which we live. The material things, cars, money, houses, and all the riches that this life can bestow upon us. There is a spiritual world that involves ourselves in the after this natural life. It involves our soul. Our soul will live somewhere in eternity. Our decisions today that we make can affect our tomorrows as well as our eternity. Jesus said in Matthew chapter 6 verse 33, But seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness, and all these things shall be added unto you. Take therefore no thought for the tomorrow, for the morrow shall take thought for the things of itself. Sufficient is the day, is the evil thereof. We're living in such a time and such an age that there is evil around us. However, we don't have to take thought so much of that because we know the Savior of this world. When we take care of eternity's decisions, then Jesus will take care of our physical, natural needs in the day that we live in today. But how do we seek Him? How do we learn Him? How do we know Him? Well, Deuteronomy chapter 4, verse 29, gives us a clue. Deuteronomy chapter 4, verse 29 states, But if from thence thou shalt seek the Lord thy God, thou shalt find him, if thou seek him with all thy heart and with all thy soul. Jesus said that if we would put Jesus first, if we would love him with all of our soul, our mind, and our strength. He also tells us that if we would just ask, we will find. Knock, and it shall be open. You see, seeking such as to find something requires faith. If we have faith enough to believe that Jesus died, he buried, and he rose again, then we have the faith enough to, to seek Jesus and to identify with his ways through repentance, water baptism in Jesus' name, and rise again to a new life. This new life is for everyone who will act today. You see, Luke chapter 19, or verse 9 gives us another clue to to what Jesus is trying to tell us today that salvation is here and it is for everyone who will simply believe it is for everyone who will simply reach out to seek him through his death which is repentance burial which is water baptism in his name and rising to new life which is receiving the Holy Spirit today salvation can be yours for Luke chapter 19 verse 9 and 10 states and Jesus said this day is salvation come to this house for as much as ye also is a son of Abraham for the son of man is come to seek and to save that which is lost do you feel empty do you feel the cares of life upon you are you so wrapped up into your physical needs and your physical worries and your physical problems that you don't know what the answers are well Jesus today is the answer if you don't believe me try him Psalms chapter 139 
Psalms 139 verse number 23 tells us for God to search me to know my heart to try me and to know my thoughts and to see if there be any wicked way and lead me in the way of everlasting today we must try him we must try and prove him that he is the way the truth and the life according to John chapter 14 verse 6 no man can come unto the kingdom of heaven no man can have eternity's life without first trying Jesus it's simple today it's simple as one two three or a b c we find this in the book of Acts chapter 2 verse 38 one Peter said repent Two, be baptized every one of you in the name of Jesus Christ for the remission of sins and three receive the Holy Ghost that's how simple it is when you make this decision for eternity's sake then today you're on your first step to follow Jesus Christ that's simple and it's that easy let's pray Dear Heavenly Father, I thank you today for this wonderful nation. I thank you for these wonderful people who are listening. Lord, I pray that your spirit will guide them, lead them, and help them to know the truth. The truth that today is the day of salvation. The truth that today you are seeking, you are trying, you are knowing their hearts, their thoughts, their minds. Lord, help them today to turn it all over to you in a prayer of repentance and Lord as they seek to know you more help them Lord to find that in your name through water baptism they can identify with you and receive a new life it is in the Holy Spirit we thank you for this plan we thank you for this opportunity and we just pray and believe that you will continue to meet each one of these needs as they first give over their decisions to know you in the eternity's life we thank you for it we praise you for it and we give you all the glory we give you all the honor and we give you all the praise for what you are doing in this nation in Jesus name Amen Tonga today is your first step make the right decisions today and may God bless you on your journey for Jesus.